It should hurt so much to breathe underwater, but you can. When the sun hits the water and you're underwater and you see the way the light refracts and it creates these amazing patterns on the wall, on the ocean floor, it's like a dance of light crisscrossing, crisscrossing. It's like the universe is trying to communicate with you through light. It's like it's trying to speak an extinct language. It's almost like Morse code through light and the movement of water and the way the light hits the water and the way the water is moving and it's translucent and clear and chooses to refract and it creates this soothing dance and you're sinking deeper and deeper you're sinking deeper and deeper but you don't panic and you don't know fear and even without breathing apparatus, you can breathe underwater. And as you breathe underwater, in and out, you sink to the ocean floor and you know no fear and you see the dance of light and reflex reflections against the ocean's sandy floor. And you see the bubbles come out of your mouth, little bubbles and big bubbles, tiny bubbles and humongous bubbles. And it's such a nice, beautiful day that you can even see your reflection in these bubbles, distorting your face making it concave and convex like a fun house of mirrors and you just see your face in the bubbles and you laugh you laugh underwater <laughs> as you laugh underwater you're okay with yourself and you realize you're wearing all your clothes underwater and that doesn't make any sense to you. You should be free, you feel free. You can breathe underwater right now. You can breathe underwater, so breathe with me. 10 deep breaths. Just let that salt water into your lungs. It feels good. And you know no fear. I know how to swim. I don't know how to swim. It doesn't matter. You're at home in this water. Water is your natural habitat, your natural element. And you take and you strip your clothes off and you are naked and you can feel the sun through the water and it's warm from your fingertips to your toes, to your hair, to your ears, and your eyes are wide open, but you don't need any goggles. The salt water feels good on your eyes. The salt water feels good in your lungs. The salt water permeates every part of your body and it's healing you. And it feels good as you keep taking deep breaths of this water. And you feel peace and then you blow out a big one and you create a nest a cocoon of bubbles you blow out so much air there's so many bubbles that you actually sit 
in a chair of bubbles. And as the bubbles tickle your skin, you could feel the bubbles tickling your toes, your calves, your knees, your thighs, your genitals, your buttocks, your stomach, your chest, your back, your lower back, your shoulder blades, your collarbones and your neck, down to your biceps, your forearms, your palms and your fingertips. You feel the bubbles, you make a bubble hat, and you just feel these bubbles over your entire body and you look down and you see that you have fins on the back of your calves and you open your hands, you look at your hands and you open your hands and you have webbed fingers. You have webbed fingers and webbed toes and you decide to start swimming. You look out under the ocean floor and you see sand and coral, beautiful coral, different shapes and sizes, every color in the universe, and you see different fish, and you decide to explore, you see different blues, the, the ocean is blues, aquamarine and turquoise and dark blues and light blues. And there's like a greenish blue out in the horizon. And let's go explore. You start doing a gentle breaststroke. That feels nice. Let's turn on our backs and do a backstroke underwater. It's effortless. All your movements are effortless and pure. And as you start to build up speed at a nice gentle pace, you realize you are swimming faster then all the fish in the sea, which each stroke of your kick, you're just flying through the water like a cannonball. You have amazing strength, super strength with these gentle, and you're not trying that hard. It's effortless for you. And you see a school of fish and you swim right past them. And it's almost as if they were saying hi to you. They are saying hi to you. Oh my God, you can fucking talk to fish. You can talk to a motherfucking fish. Hi, fish. Hi, hi. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of little fish schooling, swimming in this school of fish are all, they're so, with their little flappy fins, are all waving at you. Hi! Hi! Thousands of fish waving and saying hi to you. They love you. You are loved. You have friends. What's under that rock over there? Let's go check it out. And you see a humongous octopus. Something that you once may have thought as grotesque, it, it, it is humongous and it has spots and it, it, and it has a huge beak and it's dark where he is because he's shot ink everywhere and there's little black clouds and it's a darkness and, it, and you feel, you feel scared, you feel horror and anxiety, what's going to happen, I don't know this, I don't know this, I don't, I don't, I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. I don't know this dude. I don't know this situation. And he's sitting there with his beak eating something and he's got these tentacles and they're long and they're everywhere and they have these suction cups and they can suck you in and take you to his side and you don't know what's gonna happen. But he's scared of you too. He doesn't know you. You're strange. You're a naked human with long flowing hair. He doesn't know what hair, hair? What's hair? It's strange to him. You have webbed fingers and you're swimming butt naked in the ocean. Who are you? He thinks to himself. What is this? He says out loud. And you understand him. You can fucking hear what a goddamn octopus is saying to you. I am me. I am enough. I am just going for a swim. You have nothing to fear. 
I have only love and acceptance for you. And I swear to God, you could see an octopus cry underwater. You see one tear come down this octopus's eye, and you ask this octopus, can I hug you? And he says yes. And you're gonna hug a fucking octopus. And you're scared a little bit, and he's nervous a little bit, and as you get closer, he puts one tentacle around your back. And you feel all the suction cups. Then he puts two arms around you. And then you put your arms around his big mushy head and you squeeze. And you squeeze all the poisonous black dark ink out of him. He doesn't need it anymore. You don't need this protection. These tools of confusion, just let it out. You squeeze the shit out of all the black ink out of him. He doesn't need those dark poisonous sacks in him. And then he just melts. He melts like sashimi into your arms. And he feels so good. You've never felt a texture like this in your life. And with all eight arms, You have never in your life felt a hug like this. It is the tightest, warmest, most loving, comforting, protective hug you've ever felt in your life. As you just lay on the ocean floor with your new best friend and you just hug the shit out of each other in this warm octopus embrace. And you squeeze all the ink out of the octopus and you just lay in this black cloud of love and joy, this black cloud of peace and serenity. And you both cry. You fucking talk to an octopus. You have webbed hands. You can swim faster than anyone at your school. A school of fish, thousands of kids love you. They waved hi at you. They were so cute. And now you decide to let go. You give the octopus a little kiss. You say, thank you for being vulnerable with me. Thank you for being open with me. And I'm gonna continue on my journey because I love you, but I wanna swim more because it feels good. Then you put your arms out as you do a breaststroke and you just start moving 40, 50, 60 miles per hour, 100 miles per hour, 200 miles per hour, until you see feet. You see dozens and dozens of feet and they're trapped because there is a pool of poisonous jellyfish. There's jellyfish everywhere. and the humans, if they get stung, will get paralyzed and sink and die. And you've actually been stung by a jellyfish before and it hurts. You've been hurt before and it hurts bad. And you want to numb out. But you've talked to fish. You've talked to an octopus. Now I'm going to try to talk to a new group. I know it's hard to make new friends, but I'm gonna try to talk to a new group of people I've never talked to before. So you get to the jellyfish and you find the mother, you find the leader. It's a little bit bigger than all of the rest. And they just wanna be left alone. We had this nice area and we lived here and it was fine and we had jellyfish food and we had jellyfish games and then these humans came. And now they just are pushing us out. They don't understand how sensitive and fragile we are. I understand and they don't know. But would you allow me to help you guys be free, everyone? I will use my powers that I just discovered to help you help you help the humans and I'll help the jellyfish so you start moving your arm in a wax on wax off position 
and you just start making a, just a little circle with your hand and then a bigger one and then a bigger one and a bigger one and a bigger one and your arm goes faster and faster till your arm is a blur it is a cone it looks like a cone it looks like a, a twister a tornado and then you just create a twister of water that shoots all the humans back onto the beach get away from my new jellyfish friends so the humans get blasted and they're laughing because they're having so much fun being twisted in the air and they land on the soft puffy sand and they go back to their human things and you've always had mixed feelings about being mixed race you have long blonde hair but all your friends in Atlantis are green and scaly and you don't look like them and you feel alienated and you feel different because you have the blood of two different races and species in you but in this moment while you're with these jellyfish you feel one with them and you need to get through the school of jellyfish to get to the other side and they don't know to trust you and you don't know to trust them but in this moment you decide to trust will you guys let me through please i'm begging you don't hurt me i don't want to get hurt anymore i'm asking you to turn your stingers off and don't sting me and with your eyes closed you slowly paddle and make your th way through the jellyfish and as you touch each one they glow as you touch each jellyfish they glow a bright different color yellow purple blue green you've never seen anything this like this it's like a christmas tree going off underwater and as you touch each one the sting never comes you <laughs> You brace yourself for pain, and yet the pain never comes. They changed who they are on a bio, biological level, so as not to hurt you. On a biological level, they changed their chemistry as to not hurt you. A man cannot breathe underwater, a woman cannot breathe underwater, and yet here you are. You've beat all the odds. You've gone up and beyond the rules of reality. You can swim faster than a fish. You can breathe underwater. You can create twisters with your arms. You can talk to fish. So why wouldn't it be possible for a jellyfish to light up like a Christmas tree and turn their stingers off? And so you turn around, you get to the surface and you lay on your back and you're in a sea a bouncy sea of jellyfish and they start bouncing you off their heads bopping you from one to the next and you're laughing it's like you're in a sea of balls and you're just hippity hopping on your back and you're laughing like a child <laughs> and now you plunge deep in and you are just amazed you're loved. Doesn't matter that you look different or feel different. You are loved by different alien species, different races, your own race, other races. You have friends. Batman is your friend. Wolverine is your friend. Logan is from a different universe. And he's your friend. Superman is your friend. Asians are your friend. You have many friends. You have fish friends, human friends, octopi friends. You love octopi. And as the sun sets, you want to come up from the deep darks of the ocean and you want to pop your head out and see the sunset because it's so beautiful with its magentas and oranges and yellow hues. And it's all mixing together with blues and greens. And as the waves crash on the shore, you can see through the waves, through the sunlight, and you see a silhouette of a dolphin. There's a school of dolphin just surfing in through the waves, and you're like, that looks like fun. I want to surf. I want to ride the wave. And so you jump up right behind them, and you've had such a good day. 
You've built your confidence up. You've made new friends. You are in the middle of this eternal hug, this eternal dolphin, slick, flesh, love. This permanent hug. And as this dolphin leaps out of the wave into the sunset, they all break apart and they laugh. And a, and a tense situation is diffused all through direct loving communication. I see you. I feel you. I hear you. And you feel loved. And as you lay on your back and the sun sets, you wash ashore and you see the dolphins swinging backwards, waving at you with their fins. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. And you feel safe. You feel secure and you feel loved and the octopus comes out and waves by at you with his eight arms and the school of fish, thousands of them wave by and you can hear them. You can talk to a motherfucking fish. You can talk to a fish. How crazy is that? You can talk to a goddamn fish. Amazing. And as you lay in the sand and the and the tide goes in, you start to make a sand snowman, a sand, sorry, a sand snow angel, a sand angel. And you open your legs, close and open them and, you're, and you swing your arms up and down and you make a beautiful sand angel in the sand. And you close your eyes and there's sand all over you and you just have the, the kiss of the sunset and, and all your friends you made, the octopus hug you remember. And you take a deep breath. You are enough. You are worthy. You are a worthy soul. You are worthy of love. And as you sit there on the beach and the waves crash and the tide goes out and the sun sets, You see 60 half-hard dolphins leap into the air, spinning dolphins, splashing water, the water lights, making little crystals. A giant octopus, your friend that hugged you earlier, comes out and his eight arms silhouetted by the backlight of the sunset, twisting and turning, and in each hand he holds the dolphin like a cheerleader spinning them extra hard. And so with 60 spinning dolphins and a, and a dancing octopus and thousands and thousands of fish in the school of fish crashing out, I love you, I love you, I love you. You are loved. And your trusty seahorse, this giant seahorse comes out and with this translucent wave crashing, and a dancing octopus, and spinning dolphins, and the sun setting, and a rainbow that comes out of nowhere and hits directly onto your giant seahorse coming out. The seahorse winks at you, and you see it's too far in the ocean, but you can read its lips. The seahorse says to you, I love you. I love you. I love you. You are enough. You are worthy. Okay.